working hard is what has him where he's at right now. I went out there pretty confident. I did my thing. The back foot might be on here for a hat trick, and it will be for Ricardo Pepe. If you have a dream, you gotta work for it. Ball played in, and Bachford at the back. I usually wake up at 7 a.m. to give myself but enough time to prepare mentally and physically for the game. I usually do the same routine on game days, you know. The same routine is the key to success. On a game day, I normally cook three eggs for my brother, a bowl of fruit, so he can have like good energy for the game. My brother's very important to me, so that's why I cook breakfast for him. And obviously game days are very special for me because um, I get treated basically like a king. I mean, they do everything for me and like, that's part of being like in the family, you know, not living away from them. Seeing my brother and my mom cook breakfast for me, it's like, it's a very special thing for me because it gives me a lot of motivation. I mean, they put on a lot of effort in cooking, waking up early, um, doing this for me. So I think I prepare him in a way by having a good game, maybe scoring some goals. I like for him to be staying at home because he's too young to be moving by himself. His brother's 16 years old. Um, being the youngest, it means a lot, but it should never be something where like you get cocky or something like that. Obviously me and my family have always been the most humble persons alive in this world. I mean, we don't come from something big. We come from working hard and being able to succeed in life. Whenever you want something, you just don't get it. You work for it. And I think that helps me on and off the field because if I want to be somewhere or if I want to get somewhere, my work ethic is always gonna be there. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. What's up, bro? Yeah. What's up, man? Good, bro? Yeah. What's up, Kai? What's up, bro? You good? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what we got today, bro? I'm about to do some salmon, bro. Some ah. asparagus, you know? Okay, okay. Well, I see you healthy, bro. Free game meal, free game meal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, game no. day, game <laughs> day. I'm gonna go to school today, bro. I'll see you, Hattie. Patrick? Patrick? <laughs> yeah, we were with Pepe just chilling, hanging out with some of the guys. He cooked some salmon, you know, before the game, some asparagus. We we're just talking about, you know, football, about soccer, about um, just, just life in general, what it takes to, to get to the next level, you know. People get caught up in, oh, it's, it's only soccer, only soccer, but no, we gotta live a little. You gotta enjoy the, the good moments in life. Oh, oh open-minded bro always look to take advice bro it's, it's only gonna help you um, never take anything light bro anytime you're on that field man just always give it your all bro and for sure the things like that they, they, they pay off bro there's no story without struggle bro so we just gotta keep working but yo that was that was Hey, that was good, bro. Yeah, yeah. Good, hey, you, bro. Hey, you hit it. I, I wasn't yeah, expecting it, bro. that, bro. That was, that was good. That was good. Hey, I want to go in the pool or what? Just chill? Down. Just down, bro. Down, I'm, I'm tired of this heat. Right now we're headed to the stadium so for, for the game tonight versus Sevilla. Yeah, I'm starting to get like thin. I mean, it's close to game time for like probably like 30 minutes till I have to be in the locker room. I mean, I already focused on the game and starting to think of what's going to happen. Well, welcome out to a sunny, hot, and dare I say, balmy Toyota Stadium tonight versus Sevilla from La Liga from Toyota Stadium tonight. Getting a chance tonight to come out and stretch their legs against some La Liga competition. Steve, what does this game mean in the middle of their season? What can they accomplish in a game like this? We know about Barcelona, we know about Real Madrid, but Sevilla is a big name over there as well. Uh, good test tonight. Starting tonight with 16-year-old Ricardo Pepe. Now I'm just looking at the movement off the ball for Sevilla, and it's just, it's what you expect out of, out of a good La Liga team. It's just so sharp, and uh, the patterns are so precise. 
Coming right down the middle is Luke De Young, able to pop it up, take a shot. Beautiful goal, and it's one to nothing Sevilla. Individually and as a team, there are problems to solve out there. And you know, it's one of the things Lucha Gonzalez is looking at right now. He's looking for which players can start start solving some of these problems. Well, it looks to me, Tyler, like uh, is it going to press Sevilla up high, but they're uh, kind of concentrating on that mid-block press. Yeah. Down top with the ball. Now Akers is placed here into the penalty area, dragging across, and it's turned in. Line number nine, Ricardo Pepe. Surrounded by Sevilla players, and trips over the ball, just over the uh, the halfway line, falls down, struggling to kind of play it through the midfield. That was just a little bit of a mess back there. Sevilla trying to break through, taking it, bent it over the wall and into the back of the net. And it is two to one. Sevilla have retaken the lead. It's uh, not as easy as he just made it look. Uh, that's going to do it for us here at Toyota Stadium. And Sevilla FC on top tonight. Second match in your running score. Sevilla 2 and North Texas FC 1. I think tonight was a pretty positive day. I mean, it's a lot to learn. There's a lot of positive and negative, and then we just got to learn, watch the video, and learn from the game. I went out there pretty confident. I did my thing. I got an assist. It was just a good day. If you have a dream, you got to work for it. You know, I mean, nobody's going to give you anything. Uh, you got to work every day to achieve your goals, knowing that this is not the top, that he still got more dreams, more goals to achieve. I mean, uh, I'm happy for him. He always pushes me to do more. I feel like on um, his support, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. That far side, the backward center might be on here for a hat trick, and it will be for Ricardo Pepe. Man, you can't find anything like this except here on Overtime FC. If you want to see some of the other videos we've done, check them out up here. And if you haven't already, click subscribe right over here.